burn fat faster revealed many men in today's age of testosterone and masculinity believe that training longer ages the best results and benefits while some sort of gains might be attained through hours of training generally that is not the case in fact training for hours on end will only be detrimental to your goals as a power lifter and strength training athlete Sure, if you're training for a marathon or for the sake of endurance training, hours of training and working out might be more beneficial for you. But for the sake of the general population wanting to lose fat and be leaner with additional muscle tone to their physiques, more is bad and less is good. Some live by the traditional more is better. Like when you take medicine, one tablespoon of cough syrup should ease your symptoms while one might think two should cure it altogether. One Big Mac from McDonald's should stop my cravings while two Big Macs should make me full. Okay, you get the idea. And so it goes into the idea that if I train three times a week for 30 to 45 minutes each, then increasing the workload to seven sessions a week for two hours each will double the results right? Wrong. Even worse, some people push it to two sessions a day. And while there are some athletes out there that can train for hours on end without hindering their results or overtraining or even putting in two sessions a day, isn't the same for the rest of the population. Take for example your average gym goer that spends over an hour on the treadmill in the goal of burning fat and dropping inches off of their waistline. Sure, good for them. I'm happy to see people trying to push their limits and live a healthy lifestyle. But while they spend an hour on the treadmill of moderate jogging could achieve the same amount of calories burned at 20 minutes on the treadmill with high-intensity interval training also known as HIIT. If you spend enough time in the gym going on a consistent basis, you'll notice a trend with treadmill-only exercise goers that spend more than an hour with moderate jogging. While they might see minimal weight loss, their overall body composition barely changes over time. That's because of the general trend of thinking that if they run more, they'll lose more. This is far from the truth as you have the potential to lose the greatest amount of fat in lesser time. If you do the right program, you can achieve better results in 15 to 20 minutes. What's the secret? In the basis of all fat burning and muscle gaining workout programs, intensity is the key workout variable to every training program. With intensity given the higher priority, volume comes next in line to consider when designing a workout training program geared towards one's specific goals. Volume falls in line determined by how much you do in a given amount of time. To cut straight to the chase, if you train for 45 to 50 minutes per workout 3 to 4 times a week, the gains will come. Not only will you gain muscle and burn more fat, you'll also be more efficient recovering between each workout to go hard at the next. When you train for two hours or more, you're too overtrained to work out towards the next workout session. Visit the link in the description. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.